Welcome to some more Timberborn. If you missed the last episode, we started working on getting more types of food. We have planted a bunch of chestnut trees. And if you look closely here, you can see that some of these trees are starting to get chestnuts. We planted spatterdock here and then more potatoes. So we are actually getting better well-being. We're up to well-being 13 because of all the types of food that we have, which is really nice. We fixed some of the issues that we were having with flooding here. Oh, looks like we are three days away from a drought. So we might want to lift this up. I wonder if I do three, if it'll cause... Oh, it is flooding. So I'm going to just stay at two and a half. Anyway, we were having issues two episodes ago with flooding all of this area. And last time we built this levee spot here for the water to stay in the river and not flood all of our trees, which is working really well now. We actually have a bunch of water in here and it's just flowing down the river. It's working really well. And the other thing that we started last time was building our way to the scrapyard up here. Soon we will be doing that. We just have a little bit more to go. Before we get to that, we have some new beaver name ideas and we have a district name idea for the scrap metal area. So let's get our beavers named really quick. We have another one from Inferito, Kevin, named after Kevin Costner from the movie Waterworld. We've got three names by John Ray Sibayan, Sibayan, I'm sorry, I probably said it wrong. So we've got Maculet, Boyette, and Nina. And then John Ray also gave us the idea for naming our scrap metal district. He said, clink, clack. So once we get this district going, we have a name for that district. So let's work on this area over here. So we need to finish this path here. I think the district... They can only walk to here, and part of it's because this path isn't here. We'll see how far they can go once I get a path in this area. Do that. And then all the way over here, I think. Let me see if they can walk all the way up there. They can walk all the way to here. So we do need another district up here. Got to put in a district gate. Oh, I got to delete this path first. Or maybe I should have the district start down here, actually, because don't I need to have a spot for them to, like, drop resources off and all that within the new district? Let's delete, like, this one here. And then we'll put the new district gate here. And then put a district center up here. Okay, and this district is going to be called Link Clack. I'm going to have to move beavers over here. It is nighttime, so we'll wait a minute on that. And then I need to figure out there's a way to like transfer resources to different districts or something, right? Distribution post distributes goods to other districts. OK, so yeah, that's what I'm going to need. I have enough points for both of these, so I'm going to do that for both districts. I'm going to need to take food and water and stuff up here. And then I'm going to need to take scrap metal from up here and down to the other one. What if I put a drop off point up here? And then we'll do the distribution post over here. Yeah, we'll do that. Put a path in to it. So that's going to be from this uh, scrap metal district down to here. So then I also need a distribution post and all of that for where did I find that here? So I need a distribution post down here to take up to that other area. And then I need a drop off point down here for them to bring the scrap metal down to this point. We got a lot of stuff to build. Do we have enough resources for all this? Logs and planks. So they'll probably build this stuff first. Oh, this one's already built, huh? And then once it's in here, I think I can choose what to send over. So we'll have to w wait a little bit. We've got 44 logs. They are cutting down some of these trees, which is helpful. So we should be able to build that pretty soon here. I think I also need to start working on our Woodstock district because we are having issues with wood. It seems like it's going to be a lot of wood, but it we're using it really quickly. I feel like we're going to need more. So I'm thinking about maybe planting some more trees up here. I'm just trying to decide if I, I guess over here would be easiest first because we already have a path up here and then maybe eventually I'll get to this side as well. So let's put a path. How far does the district go up here? We're getting pretty close to the end. I think I'm going to actually put a path. We're going to want a water pump on the other side. Do a couple of those. We're going to want water storage. And I have enough stuff for that. So I will put this over here. Then we'll put a district gate here. 
and then have a path going this way, connecting to all of this. And then maybe I'll just start out with a forester over here. Like that. Oh, wait, you know what? Actually, can I demol delete that? I th the door is in a good spot. I can actually put it like right against the wall there. And then I could plant over here and over here. How far does it go? It goes all the way that way. And then I can put another forester over here if I'm when I'm ready. And then we'll put a couple lumberjack flags over here too. Put another path here. Okay, let me see how this is going. This is done. These are done. Oh, I'm surprised they built that one first. I guess maybe they could build it even though it was on the other side. And they not build this one? Okay, they're just putting logs and planks over here, so we should be good soon. Let's plant some more trees. I think I might stick with maples. So I'm going to just fill in this whole layer here with maples for them to plant. And then once that's all done, then I'll start working on this area. We've got a lot to build, though. I don't even know if they can come over here and build right now with it being a separate district. Oh, I don't have a district center over here either. If I put that there, can they still get behind to get? The yes, they can. So I'm going to put that there. And this district is going to be called Woodstock. Thank you, Lunar Knight, for that suggestion a few weeks ago. OK, so they are slowly working on building things. We're finally getting trees from over here. Oh, you know what? They might not be able to build these because they don't have a way to get up there. But I guess it's OK. They don't seem to need to. It's not flooding without it. So maybe I'll just leave it. So we're still doing good on food. We've got a bunch of spatter dock to. Oh, this is. Oh, we are in the drought now. Let me put this down a little bit so that we can have this flowing again and get some more gears and planks being made. Hopefully that's enough to get these wheels turning. OK, perfect. And then we've got the, they're doing chestnuts here. We, we have 110 chestnuts and it looks like we have a lot to gather here. There's so many right now, so we could probably leave that on grilled chestnuts for a while. This one is currently on grilled spatter dock. I may change it to potatoes for a little bit because we do have some potatoes and then I'll switch it back to the grilled spatter dock eventually. Yeah, food, we're doing really good. Water, we're doing good too. I think I'm going to put a farm or something on this side as well. Once we get the tree area figured out, that way we have food here and I don't have to transfer food back and forth. And this distribution center is done. Somebody is working there. I am going to add a route. Choose a destination drop off point. So up here, we're going to take some carrots and then we're also going to take over to here some grilled spatter dock because we've got a Quite a bit of that as well. Oh, we're going to need water too. And this store is what, 300? So they're going to have to move it out. I'm going to need some food storage or something up here. Well, let's put one here. I do that. Put a path over here. That way, when we're ready to go here, we can get to it. I'm not sure if we how much extra space we need, but I want to leave a path there. Maybe we'll put one of these little warehouses over here. OK, so I'm going to need the other kind of storage, this large pile, I think, for the scrap metal. There's too many trees. I guess I'll have to build it here. We'll put a path over this way. OK, we still have some water in here, but this this hasn't turned off, so it must be flowing a little bit. Maybe not. I'm going to go down a little bit more on this. Well, maybe I'll wait till the daytime if I can pay attention. Lower this just a tad so that the water moves again and gets this power going. And then we will continue making planks and gears and stuff. OK, this needs to be set to water. We don't have anybody over in this district yet. We are going to need another one of those things to sh send stuff out. Distribution post somewhere over here that fits so perfectly. I might as well put it somewhere back here in the brown area where I can't grow anything. Oh, wait, but this is all going to be green eventually. So but I think this might be the best plan. And now there's all the scrap over here. I could have had a scrap area this way. OK, I've got 100 carrots, 100 grilled spatter dock. We're going to make this one carrots. And this one grilled spatter dock. And then what is I can put scrap metal in here? Yes, I can. OK, we're going to need a scrap metal scavenger flag. So I'm going to unlock this. We'll put one there for now. I'm going to need to move some beavers over here, too. Oh, I need housing over here for them. 
The double lodge is the one that has the doorway up top, right? So I should probably just stick with these lodges for now. Can I put a path like this way? Ah, oh, these trees are in the way. Um, I wonder if I deconstruct these, if they'll come up here and do it, or if I have to have people in this district to do it because it's kind of far from the other area. So we'll see if they take this out. I might have to wait. Um, I guess I could put a house. Will house fit in there? Yeah, it will. Okay. I could put one house there. And this needs to be something. Maybe I'll make this grilled potatoes. Move a little bit of that. Up to here, some grilled potatoes. Okay, give them a variety of food to eat. They are still cooking potatoes, so we are good on that for a little bit. So I need to transfer some beavers over. Migrate population. Yes, over there. Okay, so I'm moving three adults over. I'm not going to move any kids right now. So they are over here now. They have some food. Oh, they don't have any water. Okay, wait. I did not think that part through. So we need to empty this out. I'm actually going to delete the potatoes and I'm going to have them move water from here. Um, add a new route up to here with water because that is more important. Okay, we'll see how that works out. Okay, the wet season has started again. So I'm going to put these back up a little bit. We should still get water flowing through to create some energy for making planks and gears. It looks like we have a lot of gears, but not that many planks. And I'm wondering if I should turn off the gear workshop for a little bit so that they can focus on making planks because they need the planks to make gears. Oh, you know what? I don't have any like wood or anything in those areas either. I wonder if I can't, I can't get all the required materials up here because I don't have, oh man, can I like move stuff out of here? Okay, they moved stuff, I think on their own. So they might move the grilled spatter dock eventually over to here on their own to provide more space. So I need to move some wood over there. Add a new route to here. We're going to move wood logs. I'm going to need another one of these for wood to store. Man, this is taking a lot of resources to get this done. Oh, I can't because of the trees. Well, they got this torn down. I do want somebody working in here. I don't have enough people. What's everybody doing? somebody working here. I don't need this right now. So I'm just going to take you out. You can work in the scrap metal. Start getting that. Let's take out these trees as well so that we can put more buildings in. We can't store all these chestnuts. I need more grills. That's what I need. I guess I could have them chop some of the trees down. Do I have anything marked for cutting over on this side? I do. So I could have them chop down some of these trees and then put a forester back in and replant them. Oh, but I don't have enough beavers. All my beavers are working. I don't know. I don't want to move anybody over here yet. Oh, you know what? I'm going to need some houses over here too. I'll put a house in here. So I have space to go back there to put some trees. This will fit three. So we could have one person getting water, one person foresting, and then one person making food. So I do need to get a farming area. I feel like that'll work where the end of this is there so I can do most of this as trees maybe I'll do like this area as maybe I should do an aquatic farmhouse and put stairs down and I could do all of this as spatter rock or something but then I have to grill it I don't know decisions then I could get over here well for now we'll just do it up here so let's plant some food we're gonna start with carrots like that. We're going to need some, a path over to the door here. From here, I'm just going to do this. Oh, and we're going to need wood up here too. So I'm going to need a large pile up here. They are getting scrap metal. So once they get enough, they only have 17. Once they get more, I'm going to have them move it. I wonder if I should have them heat up the scrap metal first before they send it back. What smelter, but that needs power. 200 HP of power. But should I put it down here? Is there something else that you can get power from? Power wheel. Oh, a windmill. That might work up there. Generates a changeable amount of power from the wind. So if I put a windmill in, then maybe we could have the... Because I feel like up here, where it's like at the top of this area, hopefully there'll be more wind up here than down in the valley down here. That would be nice. Okay, so maybe I will have them turn the scrap metal into metal up here, and then we'll just move the metal that's made down to Beaverly Hills instead of moving the scrap metal down there and 
and making it down there. So I'm going to unlock this. What is this? Large windmill. Ooh. Okay, this one I could do. I'm going to need some planks. We have planks now. We do have some planks. I'm going to send... You know what? I need a water storage stuff up here. I'll just do some small tanks here. Um, and these are all going to be for water. They are going to be able to put the water from the drop-off point into these to store. So then I'll have more space in here. I need stuff for logs. So we'll do that. Put another path in here. This one is going to be for logs. So they can take the logs out of the drop-off point and put them in there. Then we are going to need to send some planks over as well. So let's add a new route to here with planks. What do you mean no good selected? Where? Oh, uh, this is going to be for logs. This lumberjack person is there. I'm going to have them. Is, there, is this wood? It is. Oh, it died, but it still has one wood in it. So I'm going to actually cut trees, mark trees for cutting. So I'm going to have them chopped on all this. How far does this go? Oh, but I don't have anybody working in there or living there. So I guess that's not going to work super well, but okay. We got housing for three if we get people over there. I might move. Let me see. How many should I just move three? They can get water. They can plant trees and they can. So I'm going to pause this one. I don't know if I want them to get the wood first or plant trees first. I'll have to go back and forth between them. So let's move migrate population. We are going to send three beavers over to Woodstock. So they're going to go over there and live. They can build their house. We've got one in the Forester's Lodge, one in the Lumberjack, and one in the water. Okay, I might need to send some food over actually because of the fact that this isn't done yet. I'm going to prioritize this because we're going to need to plant some food pretty quickly. Oh, okay. Let me see about drop off point. I, I'm going to need to put one down, I think. I didn't think I was going to, but with the fact that they're not going to have any food if I don't, it's going to be an issue. Where do I want to put it? So tuck it in back here. I'll put it there. Um, and we'll put a path like this. There we go. Yes, I know you're hungry. I'm trying to get food over there. Uh, let's have these guys send food up to here. We're going to do, let's see, grilled potatoes. Let's do that. And they are chopping down trees. We got water at least, but they are hungry. Hopefully they will be able to get the food over there pretty quickly. So what did I need them to build that I needed planks for? Oh, the windmill stuff. So let's try that. And then metal stuff. This thing smelter. Oh, this is a big one. Why can't it be here? Let's pause this for a moment. I'm going to delete this and move it over and see if that um, will work. Why? Oh, man. That kind of defeats the purpose. I didn't want to have to build all that other stuff. I guess I can do some of this power shaft stuff. Okay. What does this take? Just logs? Yeah. So we won't have any issues there, I think. Um, there's the doorway, so I need to create a path over to here. And if I pause this, could I put um, another one right here? No, not anymore. I might build two. Okay, go ahead and build that. And then I'm going to build another shaft that way. Maybe I can give it extra power. We'll see what happens. We have food up here now. Yes. Okay, so these... Beavers are not starving. That will work well later. This beaver is getting logs, so I don't need to send logs up here. We have these getting chopped down, and that should give them enough stuff to build the last couple of things. I think this needs logs, and this just needs to be built. We've got 14 logs over here. We should be able to get some of this, and then once that's done, I just need logs for this. 25 logs. 
Hopefully it'll be enough. The Woodstock district is started and the Clink Clank district, Scrapyard district is started. So we are going to start getting some metal. We are going to get more wood um, and maybe some more food from up here and maybe some more metal. I mean, this is I wasn't planning on getting this metal. I didn't even realize it was over here, but it is nice to see. Maybe we can get some of that metal as well and send it back to the other district over here. We are doing really well on food. Do I have a beaver working in here? I do. So they are starting to chop down these trees. We're going to start getting more wood from here. I guess we'll see what happens next time. I think that's where we're going to end this episode. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this episode, please click that like button. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'd love to hear from you, especially if you have ideas for names. Please leave me a comment below. I'll see you next time.